Hi guys, welcome back. If you would like to support this channel, all you have to do is hit up the like button and don't forget to subscribe. I appreciate the support. So Quincy Jones has died. His publicist, Arnold Robinson, says he died Sunday night at his home in the Bel Air, surrounded by his family. His family left this statement. Tonight, with full but broken hearts, we must share the news of our father and brother, Quincy Jones, passing. And although this is an incredible loss for our family, we celebrate the great life that he lived and know there will never be another like him. Quincy's family is grateful for the outpouring of condolences and respectfully requests privacy in this time. Quincy was named Time Magazine as one of the most influential jazz musicians of the 20th century. Quincy dazzled the industry for decades in his roles as a composer, record producer, artist, film producer, arranger, conductor, instrumentalist, TV producer, record company executive, magazine founder and multimedia entrepreneur as a producer he is best known for working with michael jackson to create the mega hit albums off the wall bad and of course thriller the best-selling album of all time Quincy was born in Chicago in 1933. Quincy would cite the hymns his mother sang around the house as the first music he could remember, but he looked back sadly on his childhood, once telling Oprah Winfrey that there are two kinds of people, those who have nurturing parents or caretakers and those who don't. Nothing is in between. Quincy's mother suffered from emotional problems and was eventually institutionalized, a loss that made the world seem senseless for Quincy. He spent so much of his time in Chicago on the streets with gangs, stealing, and fighting. Quincy said music saved his life. Quincy was 91 years old. Yeah, so this world is temporary. When it's your time, it's your time. So make sure you do right and you turn away from sin. And repent, repent, repent. That's all, you guys. Thank you for tuning in. Please like, please subscribe, and I will see you on the next one. Peace.